This video was requested by Kelton, who is a logo designer, and he says, I'm trying to come up with unique logo concepts, but every time I sketch something, it's already been done. What do I do? So today I want to talk about how we can come up with better logo concepts, and that's going to start right now. This is about the combination of creativity and business. This isn't an aesthetic decision, this is a business decision. Alright Kelton, let's talk about your problem of not being able to create unique logos. Now, first of all, let's backtrack and understand why it's important that we have a unique logo in the first place. Not only could you end up in serious legal trouble if you start using a logo that's too close to somebody else's, but you're also going to end up with audience retention problems because they're not going to be able to remember and identify that piece of artwork, that logo, with your company and your brand. So we have to create super unique logo concepts for all of our clients and that seems like a really tall task considering that there are just tons of logos out there in the world. How do you ever come up with something new? So here's a little trick that's helped me create better logos over the years and I think it's going to help you as well. Limit yourself to 30 seconds per sketch. Why would you ever limit yourself to 30 seconds a sketch? Well, because you're going to be able to crank out a lot more ideas in 30 second sketches than you would try spending your time on longer sketches. So you get more ideas and the ideas you create are going to be simpler in nature because you don't have as much time to sketch them. The trick is to understand that it's okay if one sketch looks really similar to the other. The goal isn't to create totally different opposite end of the spectrum concepts each and every time, but rather to progress sketches, adding and subtracting or changing details one sketch at a time. Sit down for 10 minutes and just sketch 30 second logos over and over and over again. Then take a break, come back, start with a different concept or a different direction and do it again. As you do this, you're gonna generate a lot more logo concepts and they're gonna be simple and unique concepts that haven't been seen before. See, the beauty of logo design is that the more complicated something gets, the more likely it is to represent or resemble an aspect of another logo that's out there. For example, if I were trying to create a logo that included a butterfly a cupcake and a sunshine, the odds that one of those three elements is going to look similar to an existing logo are a lot higher than if I just focus on maybe a butterfly, for example. If I drew hundreds of butterfly sketches, I would inevitably end up with something that's really unique to me and hasn't been seen before. Does this mean that you should not pull any inspiration and just start sketching away? No, not at all. In fact, you want to pull more inspiration when you're doing a method like this. You see, creativity doesn't come out of thin air. Rather, creativity comes from merging the inspired designs of others to create something that's uniquely you. For example, you can actually start your sketching process by copying a design that you like. Let's say we're creating a logo for a cupcake factory. If you find a cupcake logo that you like, you start by sketching in 30 seconds roughly that same logo idea. But then every 30 seconds, you build on that idea. You take things away, you add new things, you change the shapes that you're using. At the end, after 20 minutes of sketching, you're gonna end up with a concept that's so wildly different than the idea that you started with that it's not gonna look anything like that other cupcake logo that you actually copied when you started sketching. Another way I highly recommend pulling inspiration for this task is not looking just in your industry. Industry. Don't just look at other cupcake logos. Maybe start searching terms for logos in other industries that reflect the mood or the emotion that you want to portray. Maybe I'd Google feminine logos or cookie logos or funny logos or maybe just soft logos. Try to find some different inspiration from other terms and maybe you would end up finding a logo for a girl's clothing store that stylistically reflects the mood of the brand that you're trying to create. Then you can actually use that inspiration of that mood to create a logo that's a cupcake and you start experimenting with that mood in different variations of a cupcake every 30 seconds, pushing yourself to a new sketch. This is how you can generate a lot of logo concepts and a lot more unique logo concepts because it's just a numbers game. If you do 10 logo concepts, the odds that all 10 of them are gonna look something similar to what's already been created 
is pretty high. But if you do 100 logo concepts, the odds that you're going to find a lot of unique options in that is really, really high. This is just a great way to create unique and different logo concepts and also explore your personal design style. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, like, comment, and share and let me know what other questions you have about branding and logo design. I'd be happy to answer them. And in the meantime, I'll see you all in the next video.